presents a new series of portraits at the Royal Academy of Arts in London this week in which he captures friends, family and acquaintances. Our arts editor Will Gompertz went to meet him at the show. David Hockney has been busy. In the last three years he's produced these 82 colourful portraits. There's a uniformity to them. They're all the same size, painted in the same LA studio, with the subjects all sitting on the same chair. As a group, what do you think they tell us? That we're all individuals. That's what it tells us. That we're different on the outside, we're different on the inside. I think so. Each one took three days, really. I mean, it's about a 20, 21 hour exposure. That's what I said. Do you think you're getting better as an artist? Well, I think so. <laughs> when you're going deaf, you compensate. I think my vision got better, I think. I, I was seeing sharper and clearer. And uh, I put that down to the deafness, actually. This is the first portrait in the series. It depicts the disconsolate figure of J.P. Conservis de Lima, who, like David Hockney, was devastated by the death of a young assistant at the artist's home in Yorkshire. And that was a terrible shock and a terrible thing. I mean, I didn't do much work for a while. I mean, I just, I, I drew the garden. Um, but uh, it just started with JP, really. The exhibition is something of an album featuring David Hockney's inner circle, among whom is Celia Birtwell, a textile designer he's been painting for over 40 years. Were you surprised with this one? Um, well, you all can always criticise the way you look. He always says he doesn't play, paint to flatter, so um, he paints it for himself. David, can we mention my green nose? <laughs> <laughs> no is clearly the answer, because when it comes to portraiture, the artist always has the last word. Will Gompertz, BBC News. Well, let's go back to our main story.